Hey everybody, Pastor Jim here and I have the children's chat for Sunday, March 14th, uh, which is Pi Day and also it's my son Josh's birthday today. So happy birthday, Josh. Um, today in our Bible reading, we have a story where Jesus is teaching us again about how to see and value the world in different ways. I want to use the example of lenses and how we look at things. So I have lenses in my glasses here. These are the lenses that I use when I'm working in my study here at home. And I have a different pair of glasses. These are kind of like what I wear at church that are reading lenses on the bottom, bifocals, and on the top they're just kind of clear lenses so I can see people better at a distance. And I use those because the lenses that are in my eyes are, are getting old and they don't work as well up close as they used to. So it really helps to have these. I can see you a little better now as I'm looking at my phone camera. So uh, whether we know it or not, whether we think about it or not, we are always looking at the world through a certain lens. And you know there are sunglasses, there are glasses with different kind of colors, there are ones that magnify, there are ones with like little blinders on the side that block out certain kind of light. Uh, and all those things affect how we see things. And the world teaches us to put on a certain lens and see the world in a different way. And the trouble is that we can always miss some things. There are some things that our lenses don't let us see very well. So Jesus wants us to be aware of that and use our lenses a little bit differently. Try and think about God's lenses in the world. So I'd like you to think about how animals camouflage themselves. Sometimes they have colors or markings that make them fit in with their background, right? You can barely see the animals when they're camouflaged. And um, this one might be one very close to me at home here. There's a little dog blanket and you might not even be able to see the actual dog because he's camouflaged so well, unless I mark him out for you here. And then there's other ways of using our lenses to see certain things in different ways too. We have um, the ability to kind of sum up people at a glance, right? If somebody's wearing a certain kind of clothing, you might make a judgment about them, what kind of person they are, if they're a person from a different place or have a different culture or have different values than you do. You might think they're not worth your time. They're not worth being a nice neighbor to. So sometimes our lenses can leave out important things. In this parable, Jesus is telling a story about a man whose lens was all about money. He wanted to be rich and that's all he wanted and so he forgot about everything else. And there was a, a poorer man who lived kind of on his doorstep. And I get the impression the rich man kind of had to step over him or trip over him every time he went in and out, but he, he never really thought about the poor man and never took the time to get to know him or value him or want to help him or befriend him in any way. And so this was just one sign of how the rich man kind of had a selfish view of the world. He just wanted all the money that he could get for himself and his lenses didn't let him see anybody else. And where did that get him? It got him to torment. When you're, when you're after just things for yourself, you kind of end up all alone in the world. And uh, the man ended up um, in the place of the dead separate from other people and in agony and didn't have any help of his own because he'd never bothered to get close to God or God's other people. His money couldn't go with him. And so he had nothing. And it may be too late for this man, the rich man in the parable, but Jesus is telling the parable because it's not too late for you and me, for the people who hear the parable to go, wait a minute, there was something wrong with that rich man's lens of money looking at the world. And maybe we should listen to what Jesus is saying and think about God's kind of lens for the world instead. God says, everybody is a valued child of God, worth our time, worth seeing and valuing and getting to know, getting a chance to help them when we can. Everybody is worthwhile and the world just runs better and we appreciate it and see it and value God's whole creation and our whole relationship with God better when we use that lens to look at the world. So just like I can change my glasses and see things differently or maybe not as well with these natural lenses. So I get a little help from these. 
Jesus can help us too. And I, I encourage you to go through this week. Try on God's lenses and compare what you see. Think about everybody that you meet, yourself, your parents, your family, people in school, people in your neighborhood, people you see on TV or in social media. Every, every, every single person is a beloved child of God, worth your time, worth getting to know, worth valuing and seeing as a full person and including them in your life. What would it be like if we all tried to do that? So who can you think of that your normal lenses might not be seeing too well? Hmm? If, you're, if you have a lens that needs a little bit of correction from Jesus, who might you be missing? You might think about people who get bullied at school. Sometimes they get the impression that they're not worth anything, but they are. And the bullies, sometimes you get mad at them and you think, ah, they don't deserve to be here. But they also are beloved children of God. They need something to help get them right in life. Your parents, uh, it shocked me when I realized that my brother was an actual human being and my parents were, were human beings, not always perfect, trying to do the best they could. Um, they need a break too. They need to be understood too. How about people different from you? They like different things. They hang out with different groups in school or maybe that you see somebody that's got different color skin or hair or a different way of speaking from a different part of the world. Your lenses might have to be adjusted to say, you know, all of those people are human beings, are beloved children of God, and they're worthy of my time. God would like me to see them and value them and help them when I can to be a part of God's good life in the world. So most of all, I want you to remember you are valued. God loves you. God wants to be connected with you. And what you do matters. When you love God, when you want to be part of God's family, and you put on God's lenses and see everybody as a person that's worth seeing and worth getting to know, then you're helping other people to see God and to be loved by God too. So that's my hope for this week. You can try on a different set of lenses and use that lens of love to look at yourself and everybody else and see what a difference it makes. Okay, let's pray. Gracious God, we thank you so much for your love for us. And we thank you for taking time out to help us to get to know you and other people. Thank you for this other set of lenses, the lenses of love that help us to remember everybody is your child. Everybody is worthy of being seen and valued and known and helped along in life. We ask you to accept that for ourselves and help us to be loved and helped along and help us also to offer that love to other people. Help us to see them, know them, and do what we can for each person that comes into our life. And all these things we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks, guys. We'll see you soon.